We previously created an Amazon Web Services account and launched our own instance. This part will focus on logging into the instance we launched and setting it up. So we will now continue from where we stopped in the previous part. There are a few actions we can perform on our instance. The most basic ones are changing the instance's state to one of the following. The first state is start, in which the instance is active and running, which allows us to connect to it. The instance will receive a new public IP address every time we apply it to the state. The second one is stop, in which the server is not running and it is impossible to connect to it. In this state, any data on the server is saved and not deleted. The use of this state is necessary in order not to exceed the instance's free tier usage limits. Third state is reboot, stopping and starting the instance again. The data on the instance is saved and not deleted. The fourth and last state is terminate. This state deletes all the data on the server and removes the instance. Therefore, use this state carefully after you make sure you saved all your needed data. Besides changing the instance's state, you can change its security groups. Ok, so let's connect to our server. Use the alternate mouse key to click on the instance and choose Connect. In this pop-up, click on Download Remote Desktop File. We'll use this file to access our server. In any case you restart your instance, you'll need to download this file again since the public IP for your server will change. For convenience, I'll relocate these two files we downloaded and move them to my desktop. Keep in mind, you need to keep the .pem file in a safe place. Back in AWS site, you can notice the IP address that is used to connect to our server is showing in the middle of the screen. In order to connect to our server, we'll need a password. Hence, click on Choose File and navigate to where you saved the .pem file, then select it. In my case, it's on the desktop. Click on Decrypt Password, save the password that appears in the safe place and copy it to the clipboard. As long as we have the instance password in reach, we can close the browser. At this point, double click on the file that is used to connect to our server. In this window, check the checkbox and click on connect. Paste the copy password into the password field and click OK. Once again, check the checkbox and click on Yes. We are now connecting to our remote server. The first connection to it may take a short while, so be patient. In the meantime, try making final faces to your reflection. Alright, we are now viewing the desktop of our server and controlling it. This is about where we'll manage your site files and eventually run it. Before that, we need to set up some settings. For that, click on the folder icon that's in the taskbar. Now, click on Network located in the left menu. Click on the Network tab then click on Network and Sharing Center from the menu. Here, click on the Windows Firewall link that's in the bottom left corner of the window. Then, click on Advanced Settings. 
in this window are settings of Windows Firewall. Some of will need to change. For that purpose, click on Windows Firewall Properties. In the current Domain Profile tab, change the inbound connection from Block to Allow. Repeat this step in the Private Profile and Public Profile tabs as well. At this point, I want to thank Gilad Ravid for helping me get to know about the settings. When you're done, click on OK and make sure all of the properties are colored green. You can close the two last windows and open the Internet Explorer browser from the Start menu or by using the remaining window. In the next part we'll install web server, so we need to make some tweaks in the browser properties as well. In the address bar, enter the following address, webserver.com, and click on Go or Enter button. Use the prompt window to add the suggested sites to the allowed sites list. Uncheck the checkbox and click on close. Well, good job so far. Now if you are not French speaker, click on the English option at the top and wait for change. Now open the browser settings by clicking on the gear icon at the top right corner of the browser. From this menu, click on Internet options. In this window, click on Security tab, then click on the Globe icon, and finally click on the Custom Level button. Good. In this window, we'll change three settings. To start, scroll down until you reach the Download Preferences. When you're there, change File Download and Font Download Preferences from Disable to Enable. Afterwards, keep scrolling down until you reach the scripting preferences and change the preference of active scripting from disable to enable. You're doing great. Click on OK, then Yes. Now click on Apply and OK. Where to go? We finished changing all the settings we needed for using our server and we're now ready to move on to the next part, which is downloading and installing web server. Goodbye for now and thanks for watching.